Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name is Lumen and today we're having a look at Ring of Elysium. This is a free to play battle royale. Yeah, it's a first person shooter, much like PUBG. Or I think we recently looked at Super People, which was actually very similar to this in terms of its visual design. You get to actually create and or customize your character as you jump in. This game has a slightly strange system right now where you get locked to either male or female when you jump in for the first time. You pick male or female and then you are stuck on that. You cannot change it unless you create a brand new Steam account. So you got to be careful with that. If you're watching this video before jumping in, just know that right now it does not seem possible to change between male and female. In the future, that might be different. And if it is, I'll leave a comment below saying so. But for now, you are locked on the one that you are locked on. And because of that, this video is going to be a little disjointed. I'm going to use two different Steam accounts. I'm going to use this one to record the female perspective and the female customization. And then the other one for the male customization. There'll be a few jump cuts. Don't worry about it. In this video, however, we are going to be looking at, for the most part, the appearance customization of the character itself. Then at the end of the video, after we've looked at both the female and the male customization, we'll also have a look at some of the appearance choices that you can make the cosmetics that you can equip so your weapon skins your characters outfits and so on and so forth because there's some interesting stuff here to look at but for the most part the focus will be on this the actual customization now along with what i'm going to be showing you here i'm also just going to say that the customization actually costs real money it's a free to play game so if you want to jump in here and customize your character after you create it it will cost you the equivalent of about 50 cents us for the most part that shouldn't be a problem i had that much in my steam wallet from selling trading cards it's nothing really but it makes sense with it being a free to play game so just know that you can't customize for free entirely you need to pay that certain amount it'll probably be in your own currency to jump in here with all of that said, if you'd like to read more about the game, do a deep dive to discover what it's all about, you can find some links below. You can also use the timestamps to jump between the different parts of this video. That's the intro done and out of the way. Now we're going to have a look at the character customization. Let's do it. As I said, we start with female here, then we're going to jump onto male, and then we'll have a look at all the cosmetic stuff after that. You get to pick your face. Then you get to pick presets. The presets, I'm going to say right here... Are probably the best way of doing this because the customization is very finicky it's kind of hard to do you'll see what i mean okay there's a lot of different options it's actually unexpected in many ways there's a lot going on here so for the faces you get to pick your face right these are slightly different faces not hugely different i mean they all have a similar look to them but if you go with the presets here they actually change things up quite a bit slightly more significantly because when you jump in between the presets they are changing the hair the makeup the eyes the entire sort of facial structure and all the rest you'll see as i jump through these they are a lot more sort of varied than just switching the faces up and you can see there's stuff like uh, face paint and whatever on here as well very impressive looking characters right so much like the other game we saw that was similar to this, Super People, the graphics are just wow. I don't know if the game's graphics itself, when you're actually playing, look as good as this, but the characters are, they're great. They look amazing. So we're going to take the default one over here, the first one, and then I'm going to show you all the options that you actually have available to customize. Now, this is a feature that a lot of different character creators have. You can actually sculpt by clicking and dragging. You can turn the camera, you can select any part of the face. And you can click and drag to sort of just move it around a little bit. If you can't select a certain part, then you obviously can't customize that. So, for instance, the ears can't do anything there. But every other part, eyebrows, uh, the uh, forehead, the nose, the eyes, I think you can, yeah, the eyes you can do, the lips. But all of this is actually available here using sliders and I'm going to show you how it looks because it's probably the easiest way to understand just how much there is available here because uh, if you do this it doesn't really do it justice because like you you know you can select all these little different parts here and you can move it around and whatever but you can't really see how many separate options there are so we're going to start here with the shaping on the eyebrows and I'm going to show you the different options they have the positioning of the eyebrows up down left right 
and then they have the depth over here as well which yeah it's pretty significant and you're gonna notice that some of these options are better than others better being that some of them actually make a massive difference whereas others eh, you know you like you can drag it around as as far as you really want to and it doesn't do all that much it's sort of something you'd expect because maybe they don't want the characters to look too crazy they're not letting you sort of break the mold where that's concerned i get it right i get it they don't want their game looking goofy uh, and a lot of game companies they think like that they think okay let's not let them go too far with it it's like if you want a comparison like street fighter which we looked at sort of <laughs> recently that game lets you just pull the slider to 200 percent instead of just 50 like this uh, and i appreciate it when games do that but i don't know man not a lot of games are, are able to sort of let stuff like that slide they all take themselves quite seriously games like this obviously at the forefront like as an example this set in here it like it like moves this side of the eyebrow but like just barely so yeah i don't know eyebrow tail that's the one we were busy with there like it's it's like a little lump there so there's like a lot of options here eyelids and again you can do most of this by just messing around with the sculpting tool and i think that that's a more intuitive way of doing it but when you do actually jump in and you start sliding the sliders around then at least you know exactly what you're working with and you can see exactly how far it can go as well but i did try and i can see sort of without a doubt that you can't really mess things up too much like you can't make a, a hideous monstrosity here you can make the character look a little funny but like <laughs> that's that's really about it so lower eyelids and you'll also notice that uh, with some of these when you like drag as an example the depth of this one it actually pulls the upper lip uh, eyelids depth along with it because some of them are sort of locked together you can't do one without the other else it breaks and the male and female customization options they are uh, sort of similar in that regard like <laughs> i mean to be honest the faces are actually very similar in that regard uh, the males and the females don't look all that much different there are different styles on them you'll notice with the hairstyles and uh, you know with some of the other options but uh, for the most part your characters tend to look a certain way in this game and uh, that's that's fine you know each game has their styles and you can see i'm like messing with quite a lot of this stuff here and i'm actually just leaving the options that i'm pulling around here uh, on on whatever i end up on and the face isn't actually sort of distorting all that much you know and we are by the way still on the eyes and the eyebrows this is a pretty impactful one right here there you go these ones are, are pretty big but like this not so much so we, we still on the eyes and i'm just sort of trying to stress how many options there are here these ones don't seem to be able to move it's just the scale apparently now we're moving on to the nose and look, when, you, when you're on the nose, you get the tip, the nostrils, the septum, the bridge, the root, and the nose itself. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy how much there is. Again, this is for like a battle royale where I want to say for the most part, you're going to be covering up your face right from the start with a helmet. And there's a, you know, slim to zero chance that players will actually look at your character. It's like to see someone's character, you'd have to firstly have their body line face up. And secondly, you'd have to go run over to the body that you shot at and, well, you know, inspect it while you could potentially be putting yourself in danger. So in a Battle Royale game, uh, the only time you're going to see people's characters like up close and personal will be as you start in your match uh, in the lobby or you'll see it when you queued up with other people. And even then it won't really be very zoomed in. So like what if you actually change in here? In many situations, I feel like it might be... Uh, I'm not going to say pointless, but it might be a little bit of wasted effort. Then again, I feel like the joy of creating and customizing a character, for me at least, comes from the customization itself. So it's like, it's not a biggie. I'm going to spend that time anyway. <laughs> I'm going to look at all these options anyway. Whether anyone else looks at it and appreciates it, yeah, I don't care. That's the bridge. I don't care. Okay, so we can do some pretty significant stuff with the nose here, as you can see. A 
this is nice. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. But, again, needless to say, we have some really good looking characters in this game. And like, no matter the tinkering, that's not going to change. I think I just missed one over there. We want this one. Yeah, there you go. So it seems like the last few options always tend to be the most impactful ones. Yeah. Okay, we were at mouth next. Corner of mouth. Now we can maybe put an expression on this face. Let's see. Let's make her smile. Because why wouldn't you be smiling? We're happy to be here. Can we open the mouth a little bit? I hope so. Upper lip. Oh! <laughs> you can actually take it left and right. Look at this. That's really cool. I, I don't think I've ever seen that in a character creator. Huh. Yeah, here we go. We can lift it up. Oh my god. Maybe we can make Sylvester Stallone. It's possible, right? There it is, dude. There it is. I want to say we're going to get her stuck in a perpetual sneer, but she does not look like she's sneering. This is the kind of lady that does not even know what a sneer is. Here we go. We're doing the wave. Nice teeth. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, there it is. There it is. This is what you guys are here for. Huh? This is what you want to see. Yes, sir. -y. How far can we push it? That is the question. Okay, so like, yeah, color me impressed. I did not think they'd allow us to do this. It's like I'm visiting the dentist right now. Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> They're about to tell me I haven't been flossing. My god. Well, that's a, that's a look. I wonder if I change this if it's going to mess my face up. I can't I can't do it right now. I want to finish first. So we're on the we're on the face shape now, okay? Forehead. Not much change in there. Then this one, it's the rotation of the forehead. This is the eyebrows. Once again, the nose and the eyebrows. Not much change in here. Cheekbones. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Let's make it gaunt. I feel like that gives you a more interesting effect if you go gaunt instead of chubby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Upper cheeks. The what now? Wow. They have cheekbones, upper cheeks, and just cheeks. I feel like that's insane. It might just be me that feels that it's insane, but like, that's a lot of cheek options, and these do nothing. Well, it's not that they do nothing, but they do so little. Cheeks? I'm making her gaunt. There you go. It's the bottom here. There we are. There we are. We are getting somewhere. I'm wondering what it's going to look like. Chin. Yeah, smaller chin. Smaller chin. Cool. I want smaller and sharper. You can see these are actually working. It's modifying the bottom down here. There we are. Where was I? We want chin. Let's do lower jaw. Make the jaw smaller. That's quite something. <laughs> Draw angle. Wait, what? Can I actually change like the rotation of the jaw? Okay. Let's see how far we can go with it. Here we are. Now, there's no rotation changes, but... I mean, that's a pretty singular style that I've gone for here. And that actually brings us to the end of the face shaping. Wow. Now I'm going to actually test here because I'm curious. I'm going to try the different facial expressions. 
<laughs> it actually works. Oh no. Oh no, dude. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. So for the cosmetics... It would really be a shame to get rid of this, right? It would really be a shame. But we're gonna do it, because it's gonna distract you guys. I know it's gonna distract you guys. It's distracting me. So we bring... <laughs> oh man, it was a pretty big difference. Okay, so eyes. Let's have a look what we can do. I actually like these settings. I had a peek at them before I started. Basically, you get to choose the style of pupil. It's just, you know, they, they all look pretty similar. But, you know, you, when, you, when you start pulling these sliders around and you bring the color and the saturation up... So the color, it lets you slide through all the different colors. I'm not going to say all the colors on the rainbow, but like it lets you slide through all of them and you get to sort of, you know, pick what you want. You can go black as the night. You can pick a certain color. Uh, and then when you're putting the saturation up, then obviously there's, there's sort of a whole lot to go with there. Uh, all the colors I would say are actually here, but like you can't really pinpoint any one specific color easily. You just have to mess around with these settings here. And as you can tell, it looks a little unnatural when you bring the saturation all the way up and you get there. Because then it sort of makes it just pitch black. I don't know. It's like, it, it, I think it's a bug. But if you take it like up to about there, then you can slide through and you can get all the different colors. Right? Size. Yeah. There you go. Eyeshadow. Uh, we don't have one selected, or do we? Okay, it's very, very, very hard to see. There we go. Not much. Really not that much. Let's take this one. Eyeliner. Take this one. Eyelash. We take whatever is the darkest and most impactful one. This one. Eyebrows. Yeah, okay. That's good, that's good, that's good. Lips. Mmm. Curated choices. You don't get to just pick from a full RGB selection. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because I think that the style of the game, well, is fantastic, beautiful, uh, and I think they want to keep it that way. Then again, it's kind of weird because obviously uh, you get to bend your whole shape of your face out of proportion, but they don't let you choose a custom color here. Again, maybe that comes with cosmetic purchases after the fact. That's possible as well. Skin. Skin color. One would think this would be earlier on. Uh, not a lot of different choices here, and like, let's be real, this and this, very similar. Very similar. Skin details, intensity. It's sort of just your pores and like the texture on it, and then the aging, well, that explains itself. This would have looked kind of nice if we still had that weird face that we had before. Uh, let's leave it both halfway-ish. There you go. Cosmetics. Oh wait, skin gloss. The gloss, yeah. I mean, it's not super impactful, but it's there. Cosmetics. There's like blush around the eyes or something. There's blush on the cheeks. Kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know. And then finally tattoo. These are interesting. I had a peek at these before. And they offer a few smaller things like beauty spots. Then they offer a bunch of country flags. Which I find very interesting. Uh, because the design on the tattoo is really nice. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice way to display the country's flag. Whatever country you want to display the flag of. Uh, but... Yeah, I mean, you don't really get much of a choice in how you're wearing it. Which, again, the curated experience is sometimes the safer bit. Uh, they they have a lot of flags here. They obviously don't have all the flags here. Uh, but, you know, you probably... In, in most situations, you'll find the one you're looking for. In most. If you live in South Africa, you are shit out of luck because that's not here. <laughs> but um, hey, yeah, you get to you get to rock a flag here, and that's that's sick. And you get to do all these different uh, styles of face paint as well, which is kind of cool. Then, as our final stop, hair. You get to actually zoom out finally when when you're doing the hair, and you can turn the character all the way. Hairstyles. I mean, yeah, this. <laughs> <laughs> this was probably the most disappointing part for me. It's like I've been talking up the character creator and I've been sort of, you know, happy about everything I've seen. But the fact that they don't really even offer you hair colors in this customization is to me a little strange. 
uh, like they give you a whole lot of options with the other stuff but then when you get here they have a pretty limited selection of hairstyles and they don't even let you change the color the color is locked to the style itself which again yeah man i get it you're going for a curated experience you want the characters to look a certain i guess yeah you want people to buy the cosmetics oh yeah the cool colorful hairstyles will probably cost money in the store sure sure but like come on man just let us change the color huh this game would lend itself nicely to some bright colors for hairstyles or, or even just a, a few different styles like shorter ones uh, and 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 then you could change the color yourself custom i don't know man i don't know that that was a little disappointing for me okay a little bit disappointing but all in all i think that the customization options themselves are pretty good yeah pretty good you don't get to customize the body uh, you don't get to change the shape or anything like that once again completely understand that especially for a game like this where hitboxes are involved and the outfits and stuff like that are uh, generally not something that gets produced for all that long they sort of push them out at a rapid rate so you want the bodies to be a certain uh, shape and stick that shape so that the stuff's easier to make either way though yeah i, I kind of like it i kind of like what they've done here uh, again a few shortcomings that i think are pretty glaring uh, but it's all right it's all right and that brings us to the end of the female customization now we are moving on to the male customization the options here much the same or at least they presented much the same as the female options but i feel like there is more variety when you're actually looking at the different faces and stuff like that you'll see why i think that in just a moment i think the facial hair plays a big part and then the hairstyles also seem a little bit more varied my like biggest complaint with the female customization was the fact that you can't change the hair color uh, and and there were only like four hairstyles or whatever but a little different here You'll see what I mean. We're going to jump in now and have a peek at everything that's available. First things first, you can customize the face shape. These are presets for the face shape. Uh, these options can all be attained by just sort of doing the shaping that you would do on this menu over here. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, the presets, however, they are pretty fantastic. There are some nice presets here that all look quite different and varied. Uh, I think that they offer you a pretty cool starting point if you want to take one of these to customize it i mean like for instance here this one with the scar on its nose and the nice facial hair and stuff much different than as an example this one you know there is sort of a certain style that you're going for here and you should be aware of that when you're jumping into a game like this i suppose i do think that this would definitely benefit from a randomized feature uh, but it's whatever we're gonna pick standard first and first options and i'm going to show you how the shaping works so if you prefer you can actually shape and sculpt by just clicking and dragging uh, i showed this off briefly on the female side of things but what it does is when you select a piece of the face and you drag it uh, you know this way or that then it actually moves the sliders around and you can do it in this way if you'd like however it i would say generally tends to give you slightly less freedom when you customize in because you can't do the specifics it's less fine tuning it's easier and you can make the sweeping changes quite uh, like effectively but you aren't getting that fine tuning you aren't you aren't able to to like push it to the max if that's what you're looking for then this is how you're going to want to do it and we're going to go through all these options right now you're going to want to come through here and you're going to want to do the sliding you know i'm going to see what I can do with this face to make it look as strange or out of place as possible. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to succeed, uh, but yeah, I, I, I like to at least when I do these, try push the character creator to the limits a little bit to see what they allow. Uh, on the female side of things, when we got like halfway down, it started getting a little crazy and I was happy with that. Crazy in a good way or in a bad way. I mean, it depends on if you like nightmares or not. <laughs> but um we are going to try and do a similar thing here so this is already like i think this is already better than the female customization just because you can actually move things around a little bit more like he looks worried doesn't he worried about the fact that his eyebrows are now hideously deformed uh, so that was eyebrows eyebrow tail now we're going on to upper eyelids and there's a lot of options here so brace yourself let's try and make like squinty eyes okay squinty eyes sad squinty eyes oh my goodness what did i miss this on female because like i swear i couldn't do this i might have missed it i might have missed it 
don't know. <laughs> okay, let's see. No, maybe it was a like maybe it's a bug. Maybe they're not. Maybe they don't want you to actually do this, because like this is a little weird. I I could I, I could swear on female. I I like moved all of this around and I didn't get the choice to like close the eyes completely, but hey, either way, I'm happy that you can. I always figure the more options you have and the more freedom you have, the better. I understand when you want to go for like a sort of more curated experience where you want people to look a certain way or whatever. And they're doing that in this game. Uh, you may not know it or not, but they're doing that in this game because you're actually only able to change your face. You're not able to change much of the body of your character at all. Uh, the only way to change the body or the shape of your character is to buy like a full body skin from the shop. Uh, but with these options here, you're only changing the face and... I want to say if someone's more than like five meters away from you, they're not going to see your face in any way, shape or form anyway, so it doesn't really matter. On top of that, it's a battle royale game, right? Uh, good chance you're going to be picking up a helmet early on and uh, you can do a nose wag. Cool. And you're going to be covering your face anyway. Now on the, on the female character that I customized, if you didn't see that, I did some funny stuff with the nose. I made it longer and pointier. Let's make this one flatter and... Uh, and let's say uh, stubbly, if we can do it. Let's see if we can make like a Voldemorty nose. It's probably possible, right? <laughs> it's turning into like a beak or something. Uh, this is really weird. Septum. So yeah, like needless to say, uh, you get quite a lot of freedom here. Man, look at that. That's actually twisting. Like, left, right, left, right. You get a lot of freedom here. You can do a lot of stuff. If that is what you want. Let's spread that out a little bit like that. Even though a lot of it doesn't actually do all that much. Some of them, you move them around, like, drastically. And they, they don't really actually change at all. Uh, but others, apparently, they give you much more. The root of the nose, that's here, right? Let's see. Yeah. I think it's pretty impressive. Like, this amount of customization on your character in a Battle Royale game is... is it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty intense. Like, it's not something you'd really expect ever. Uh, because, again, like, you're trying to shoot people on sight... You're not trying to get up close to look at their characters. That's about all we can do with the nose, which is... Well... <laughs> it's, it's, let's just say it's enough. That's probably enough. I'm gonna make him a big mouth. Or, or should we do a small mouth? Closed and small. Because on the female we made like this big open mouth. She was sitting in the dentist's chair. Let's try do something a little different. So we're on the upper lip now. Yeah, let's close it up. Close it up. Close it up. Close it up. There we go. And we're not going to Stallone it completely by moving the... There we go. We'll keep it sort of more centered. Where all of this is constant. Wider. <laughs> oh yeah, the old droopy lip. So I mentioned when I was customizing the female character... You know, they don't let you go as crazy as something like, let's say, Street Fighter would allow. But they do let you change some stuff that can definitely make your character look a little weird. So, um, yeah. Thanks for that. Let's pull it up a little bit there. Oh, that's perfect. Now, I'm sorry, I'm not obviously giving you the best look at what you're actually changing with each of these. Because as I, as I deform the face further... Uh, we sort of lose all scraps of humanity that were left. But I think that it's a fair way of looking at how much you can actually change with it. And it is probably the right way to go about this. Because it's the human way to go about this. <laughs> you know? Oh man, he's melting. He is melting. Now we're changing the actual mouth itself. The face shape options, which are coming now, I might want to reset the face for. You know? I might want to actually just change this back entirely, because there's a lot of options here that, even though the top ones you'll still be able to see, the bottom ones you might not actually get a good look at. Oh, 
Huh. I don't know. To me, he still just looks like some kind of bird of prey, you know? He looks like a bird. Let's let's push it out. Let's go for the biggest possible that we can. There we go. Those are some cheekbones. Those are significant. Upper cheeks. Yeah. It's not bad. If we keep going here, we might end up on, like, you know, Elon Musk or something. We get in there, we get in there. Okay. Feeling good about this. Feeling good. <laughs> Jeez. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry about what I've done. It's... Oh. This... Uh, the scarf is getting in the way, man. I can't, I can't see what's going on. Scarf, I can't see what's going on. I'm trying to make this face bigger, but it's not working because the scarf is in the way. It's too significant, guys. We've reached the limit. Let's clip in. <laughs> it's fine. We, we, look, look. I've got an idea of what it looks like now. Uh, it's, yeah. I want to say, if you want to be safe rather than sorry, you should probably just use the sculpting feature by clicking on stuff. Because that's, that's, see, that's about as far as you can deform it. And then if I reset shape in now and i show you just as an example uh, this last little bit down here like these face options um they 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 sort of allow you to change the the look and feel of your character a little bit here and there and i think it helps because like you can just use it as it is here without touching all the other stuff and messing all the other stuff up and you can get it looking the way you want it to look but uh, you can see that you can quite clearly mess things up quite a lot with all of these however again i will say that the sculpting you know, by hand like this, it does seem to be safer. You know, you can sort of just click and drag a little bit here and there, uh, make it sort of look the way you want it to look. But as an example, uh, you guys saw I could close the eyes completely by selecting the eyelids. I don't seem to be able to do that when I'm when I'm fiddling around like this. So you will be limited a little bit. That said, there are a lot of options, and I am thoroughly impressed by it. You can also change the expression of the face over here. There you go. And with that done, we're going to move on to the cosmetics. I am pretty interested in seeing what the males can do, because the females, they did not have any scars or anything like that. The males seem to have scars, and I want to see if that's actually an option or if that's locked to the face templates. Either is possible. Not sure where it's going to land. So these are just the pupil style. Uh, you get like sort of a fogged over one, and then you get different patterns inside the pupil. Doesn't change all that much. This is where the changes come in. Uh, the color is the is the color itself and then the saturation is how bright that color is the brightness well that explains itself but when you when you select the saturation full then there's this little dead zone here where it takes let's see where there it is there you go where it makes them black so you have pretty much all the colors that you could possibly want here uh, they, they all look a certain way but i mean that makes sense seeing that they are actually colors being applied to an eyeball uh, you know, you're not just taking a pen or a pencil and coloring a piece of paper. This is on an eyeball, a human eyeball. So the color will always translate differently. But you can change the brightness on it. You can change the, the saturation to make it paler or, or, or less so. Uh, yeah, more vibrant. It looks okay. The eyes are nice. The eyes are nice. Eyeliner. Far less options here than on female, interestingly enough. I'll take that because I think it looks fantastic. Eyebrows. Same amount of options. We'll take the bushy brows. Skin. Skin color options. Uh, pointless. <laughs> it's like, it's it's barely even a tan. Uh, intensity of the skin. That's sort of the pores and the, and the, let's say the ruggedness of the skin and then age. Age, not massive, but like it changes it a bit. I think it looks nicer with the frown lines and stuff. And then the gloss. Gloss is also not that impactful a change. Cosmetics. Here we have some uh, facial hair. Not a whole lot, unfortunately. I'm kind of curious to see whether or not... Yeah, there's the scars. I find it so strange that only males are allowed to have scars. Why can't females have scars? But hey, uh, we've got some scar choices here. And then we have flags. 
They do not have every flag, but they have some flags. And, I mean, I think that the presentation of the flags here is kind of nice. Feels like I'm at a soccer game or football game, depending on where you are. And I'm ripping my country. It's cool. Yeah. It's nice. I would never get bent out of shape because they don't have my country's flag. I don't really care. Uh, I would probably pick a scar anyway. But there you go. Those are the tattoos. Then finally, the hairstyles. This is what I was most curious about. And yeah. My fears. They were well founded. There are six hairstyles and no hair color choices, unfortunately. But regardless of that, uh, I think that the character models are beautiful. They are beautiful for both the men and the ladies. And I think that given the amount of options that you can use to customize your character and change it the way you want to change it, yeah, you could probably jump in here, you could probably make something, and you could probably leave satisfied. So, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. With this done, however, I am going to jump into looking at the cosmetics. We are done with the male customization. That's pretty much it. I'm sorry if I sort of skipped through a few things a little quickly or perhaps didn't show everything as well as I could have. I just feel like it's a very strange system where that's concerned. It's like I've, I've done my best, I think. <laughs> There's just a lot, you know. I, I really think that, again, most games should always just consider adding a randomize option because it's the best way to preview what's available, I think. Anyway, let's move on. Alright, so now, after looking at both the customization options for the male and the female, we are going to be jumping into some of the appearance stuff. There's a lot going on here. There's a whole lot that you can get. You can buy stuff from the store, you can earn stuff through challenges, and then there's the adventurer's pass, which we're not going to go through in its entirety. I'll skip through it for you right now, and I will show you sort of the icons and stuff like that, what you could expect to get from here, but... You know, the idea is that it's like a battle pass where you get sort of a lot of different stuff that you could equip on your character that you could use while playing and so on and so forth. If you play in the game, it's probably worth it. If you just jump in every now and then and not spending all that much time in the game, it's most likely not. Uh, you know, they seem to have a certain style here where they have these Chun-Li style skins for females and then whatever this is, uh, this one for the uh, males. And that's the theme going through it. I wouldn't say it's the most high effort thing I've ever seen. There's some interesting stuff on here, but for the most part, same, same. You know, that's the kind of stuff you can expect from here. In terms of the store, you will notice that there is a lot of interesting stuff here. Like the skins and stuff, obviously the ones you pay a lot for are going to be like mega cool. Uh, there are a lot of weapons and charms and you know extras basically car skins as well they are car skins and they cost varying amounts of coins and or e points that's the two different currencies in the game and that's cool uh, that's what they do with uh, games like this free to play games where you can actually play as much as you want for free and if you want to support the devs if you want to buy stuff well you might have to dish out a little bit of real money, but like there's stuff like this, which is a complete character uh, makeover, as if you will. There's a male version of this as well. And then in the EP store, uh, you will see they have everything on show here. The weapon skins, some of the character skins. They show you the popular stuff here. Basically full outfits. And these ones come along with hairstyles and stuff like that. So if you buy this, you get a face, a hairstyle, and the full package, basically. The full package. Lots of cool stuff here. If it's your kind of game, I don't think you'll have to look very far to find something that you like. I mean, this is like, wow, that's a fantastic skin. Like, the design on this, awesome. So whatever you think about the game, there's at least this. You know? <laughs> you know? There's at least this. The art department is is rocking it, as always. Like, look at this one, for instance. Isn't that sick? That's super tanky. I dig it. I dig it. So this is the kind of stuff you can expect. Uh, then, again, as I was saying, uh, you can buy sort of extras, like the accessories uh, for your weapons and stuff like that. Uh, you can also get things like main menu music. I'm not sure if those are actually for purchase here. You can get the vehicle skins and then the weapon stuff. There you go. Then, your character itself 
if you don't want a full transformation like this. And these are the ones that are mostly available in the battle pass. If you don't want a full transformation like that, then you get to actually customize every little bit of your character by yourself. So firstly, uh, all the guns have their own skins and stuff. Uh, you can sort of jump between them. I'm not showing them all off here. I'm sorry. It's just not something I want to do because there's a lot, right? There's a lot here. Uh, but basically every gun, the assault rifles, the light machine guns, the sniper rifles, and again, there's a lot of them. They all have their own skins and a lot of them. Uh, then you get to equip different accessories on your character. Backpacks. These are just the different variations of these character skins. It's quite a lot that changes there. And they're, well, I want to say they're different uh, slots that you can fill up. And gliders, snowboards, ice axes, BMXs, grappling hooks, bikes, vehicle appearances, like so, 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 so many. It's madness it's madness it's like this this it, just with the sheer volume of stuff that you can get skins and appearances for i want to say it sort of puts uh, things like pubg to shame these are loading screens not that i'm saying it actually makes the game better in any way i'm just saying that it is a lot now back on the character customization if you actually want to customize the character itself uh, so that was just a quick look at the stuff that you can get sort of from the store and from uh, the different aspects of the game but if you want to customize the character itself then there's also this which is kind of insane it's kind of crazy you get to equip and by the way this is a pet peeve but like i hate the fact that when i hover over here it's straight over my character's face it's like i just want to look at the hat man <laughs> now i have to go here i have to move it away and then look and then here and move it yeah it's just... so there are hats then there are gloves which you'd have to zoom out for see them down here lots of different gloves then you have glasses these are i want to say for the most part the same on male and female then you have masks tops you can take the top off if you want or equip it uh, let's just take the jacket off so you can see lots of different options here Jackets. Pants. Boots. And that's that. There's no randomized option here, which I think would have actually been kind of cool. Uh, and then there are different ways to unlock all of these. Some of them you unlock by playing the game. Some of them you purchase and so on and so forth. It's sort of, I'll leave that up to you. It's sort of different for each one of these. But yeah, overall, there's just a lot that you can do with your character in this. Much like, once again, the other Battle Royale games like this, there's just a lot of stuff. I don't know exactly how much of both of the currencies you earn, like the coins or the uh, EP, E points. I don't know how much you earn. Uh, I noticed that the E points are, well, pretty much exactly priced how you'd expect. It's a thousand for ten dollars. It's standard pricing, and uh, yeah, they give you some free for just jumping into the game. You can just jump into the game. And they give you like two hundred for free, so you can actually, as far as I understand, uh, purchase a character customization token or whatever else with that alone, and you can take it from there. But that is going to bring us to the end of this video. I just wanted to show you quickly what the customization options looked like, what the cosmetic options looked like, and basically what was available in the game. I wasn't going to take you through every single one, because if I was going to go through every single one, example, the weapon skins would take ages, because each of these weapons has a bunch of skins for them. Uh, so if you want to look at this for yourself, it is a free-to-play game. You can jump in. There'll be a link below. And yeah, I'd appreciate it if you guys let me know what you think about it. If you've played Ring of Elysium, I think I played this back when it first released in like the early access phases, but I haven't played it since then. So I don't know what's actually happened with it. I love Battle Royale. It's like one of my favorite genres. It's I just, I've spent so much time in all the different games that have come out over the years. So yeah, I'd love to hear if you uh, personally are enjoying this. Let me know. 
let me know what you think about the character creation and or customization. I think that there are a few glaring problems with it. The one being that you can't really switch between male and female. You can't reset your, your character and, and sort of jump between the two. Uh, that's kind of silly. You also can't buy a change like that. Uh, but And maybe the, the hair thing was a bit annoying that you can't actually change your hair color. But given how many other options there are available, I think it's sort of a, a, a no biggie situation. But yeah, that's it. Check back here soon for more. Give this one a like and share it and do all that other good stuff. Most importantly though, happy creating those characters, dudes. Happy that.